Hi everyone and welcome to another edition, another not a shaving video but um, a video showing how I disinfect and clean a shaving brush. Now there's three types of shaving brushes, there's the badger brush which is a real hair brush, there's the boar brush which is a real hair brush and there's the synthetic brush which isn't real hair. Now the first two are more important because they're real hair. Now I'm going to show you on this brush which is a brand new brush I've never used before uh, an Omega Boar brush and the first thing I would recommend is not to use boiling water. Um, you wouldn't use that on your hair for obvious reasons but um, I would use warm to hot from the tap uh, the reason I say not to use boiling water, it could have an adverse effect on the, the glue which holds the brush in the handle. It could have an adverse effect on that and if you've got a wooden handle, it could also end up um, damaging that really. So I'll go through first the things I'm going to use and then I will arrange the camera to show you each process. So the first thing is I use the shaving bowl and in there there is dishwashing detergent and in this case I'm using fairy liquid as it's known in the UK just a drop um, then I use this which is a, a antibacterial hand soap and uh, then I've got a palm olive shave stick so um, We'll rearrange the camera and I'll show you each process I use. Okay then, welcome to my sink. <laughs> so the first thing is, uh, you've got your new brush or your handed down second hand brush. So you put some detergent in the bowl, I don't know if you can see it but it's there. And then this is hot water from the tap, uh, but it's not boiling water. And I just place some water in there and then begin, place the brush and as if you're creating a lather, if you like. And uh, make sure you don't make too much of a mess. And obviously it will s sort of soap up and lather up. Just like that. And then make sure that brush is really worked in. Now, what I would do now, but I'm not going to do it in the video because it'll save time, is I would leave that soak in there for 10 minutes. I would probably fill that, if you can see this, and then let that soak in there for 10 minutes. That will then degrease and clean the brush of any gunk. So I'll come back to you now. Okay, so that's been soaking for 10 minutes. I've then come under the tap, just on the warm water, and you rinse. I've rinsed this thoroughly, and gently sort of massage the brush. Make sure you get all that soap detergent out. Just gently squeeze it. You probably can't see this, but that's all I'm doing is soaking it, and then and once that's thoroughly rinsed, gently squeeze it and place it down. Then I'm going to bring in my antibacterial soap. So you've cleaned it, you've degreased it, and you've cleaned the dirt out of the brush. And we're going to now kill all the bacteria. Now all I do with this is go down to the bar of soap and just basically lather up. like so. Brush, make sure you brush it right in. That's enough. Place that there for a minute and I just use my hand then. Eh? 
Make sure you've got ha clean hands, by the way. <laughs> um, you can use a lather uh, of a bowl to do this, but uh, this soap has got antibacterial agents in it, but it's gentle enough for the hand, so I'm thinking of looking after the brush, so it's good enough for the brush. So now you've cleaned the brush, degreased it, and now you've sort of killed. You could leave that soak for 10 minutes, as it is, um, and then the same procedure again, just rinse off like this. Right, so that's that done. So as I say, you've cleaned it, all the dirt, and you've um, killed all the bacteria in the brush. Now, I'm going to use some hair shampoo. Now this particular one, Head & Shoulders, has hair shampoo and conditioner. And I will put a bit in the shaving bowl. We can get it out. Just bear with me. There we go. That's probably too much, but so I'm going to clean. I'm going to wet the soak the brush under the tap and then take it straight in. And this is basically like washing your hair and conditioning it. Now, you don't have to do all these stages, obviously, especially if it's a brand new brush, but you can do. It depends, I'm just showing you different ways I do it. Um, and especially if it's a, a used brush, which uh, I don't own. All my brushes have been new, uh, bought or given to me brand new. So. Um, but in case you, you know, your grandfather or somebody's handed you their brush, uh, you want to clean it and whatever. So these are the different stages I use and I've never had a problem with them. As I say, you can use many, many methods. Now again, you could leave that soak there for 10 minutes. Some people leave it overnight. It, it's, all, it's entirely up to you. I don't like leaving things overnight just in case. Um, it's, well, it just makes it, it can make it difficult to get rid of the residue, but um, I should think it's perfectly safe to do so. So that's really got into the brush. And as I say, leave that for 10 minutes maybe, and then come back and rinse that out. Show you rinse the bowl. And again, rinse thoroughly inside the brush and caress it gently. Now, as you do all this, take the brush and smell it and you should start to smell especially now the shampoo which is what you're aiming for really you want to get rid of that sort of stale pig hair smell and the third or fourth well, I've lost count actually but the next stage is I would lather up and someone asked do I own a shaving scuttle yes I do this is the big shave shaving scuttle and you would fill that spout with hot water from the tap, put the cork in and create your lather inside here and the hot water will keep the lather warm. So that's my shaving scuttle. Anyway, for this particular one, I'm going to lather up now using the palm olive because I love the scent of palm olive and wet the brush, wet the stick and just 
in the sink, just lather up. Just create it like that, that's enough. Put that one side, then I use my hand, you can use the bowl, doesn't matter, but it's only me using this brush. And then really lather up. Oh, and the smell of palm olive, fantastic. And that can sort of speed up. I mean, you don't have to do all this. You can just sort of lather up with this, use it, but it'll take longer to get rid of the sort of stale pig smell. But this will speed it up no end and also clean and disinfect the brush. Now, once you've done that and you're happy that the brush is full of soap, you could leave that again 10, 15 minutes and then come back and then you would rinse the brush out. I'm not going to leave it 10 minutes because it doesn't need it. But as I say, if you smell it during all these um, little processes, you can tell how, how it's working, how well it's getting rid of that smell. And uh, thoroughly, thoroughly rinse and just caress the brush to squeeze out all the soap. Now, this is something I do after this process, something I do in after every shave. And that is, I get a towel, and I always do this, and I gently just flick through it, taking out most of the wetness and the moisture out of the brush. Like it's your hair, you know when you dry your hair, just gently, just like that. And this will help speed the drying process, which is the another very important uh, process in maintaining a good brush. And I just sort of clean the hand. I'm fussy, I clean handles and all sorts of things. But once I've done that, I'm happy with that. As you can see. Now the smell of that now, there's a, there's a hint of shampoo and a hint of palm olive and that's wonderful. Now the next stage is I place this not like that, upside down, always upside down in a brush holder, which this came with. So as you can see, that's in the brush holder now, like that. And I place it by an open window. I just open the bathroom window, just slightly, and I place this by the open window, like that. And I leave it there for about 24 hours uh, to dry, com air dry completely and that way you'll end up, you'll look after the brush uh, and it'll look after you and eventually as you use this lathering up, lathering up the ends of this hair will split and it'll really branch out like a flower and really give you some good um, lathers and creations of lathers so uh, that is how I clean and disinfect and run in, if you like, for the first time, a brush. Uh, so that's it. So I hope someone found that helpful, useful. Um, as I say, that is just one of many ways of doing the brush. Um, this, you know, if you look on YouTube, you'll see loads of different ways, but that's the way I do it, and that's the way that's worked for me. It's not using any harsh uh, chemicals, but it's getting the job done.
Now you don't need to do every process of that on each brush, um, but I'm just showing you how I do it and it's a thorough clean, you know, it's a thorough way of doing it really. Um, particularly important, as I say, if you've been handed down a brush by a friend, colleague, family member or something like that. And um, you still want, you know, you want to make sure it's clean and disinfected. So, uh, yeah, hope that helps someone. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.